Hello everyone, hope you're doing well and staying safe. In this video we're going to be, to be going over the strength portion, because last time we did the cardio, so let me begin now. Let me open up my workout project, and as you can see, this is what we had before with the cardio, um, but now we need to do the strength, so um, all I need to do is, for my workout stack, I'm going to right click and create a new, new file. In here, I'm going to call this strength.js. And in our strength workout, what we want to do is, just like before, import React. And then we're going to use, um, use state, use effect from React. And we're going to import here text. view safe area view button scroll view alert style sheet alert is lowercase and then keyboard from react native then what we want to do is import the database, so import open database from, and then it's SQLite, so React Native SQLite storage. Then we want to import async storage, so we're going to say import async storage from, and then it's going to be um, at React async storage. And lastly, what we want to do is import picker. So import picker from, and then this is going to be at React Native Community Picker. So now that we have that done, what we want to do now is just like before, create the two functions to for the database if it's there's an error or if it's a success. So um, to save some time, I'm just going to copy and paste them from my cardio.js. So it's let error cb equal error arrow function console.log the error. Otherwise, if they're successful, console.log open workout db for cardio. And then a, ma a majority of the strength is copied from the cardio because I tried to make them consistent. So next, I'm just going to do the variable for the database. So I'm going to say, so I'm going to copy the database variable right here. And say let database equal open database, or let db equal open database, the name of the workout database, because they're both from the same workout, and success error. Now for here, what I want to do is create the um, the React component, so I'm going to say const um, strength is equal to, and then I'm going to pass in, just like before, navigation and root because I'm passing in parameters and then there's going to be a return so right now I'm just going to do a return statement of text say strength.js then I'm going to say const styles is equal to uh, before I do this actually I want to do export default and then strength and const styles is equal to style sheet dot create so that is the strength now I have to go to my main and add it so let me go to my main dot js come up here to my imports and say import strength from and say dot forward slash home stack workout stack strength come down to where I have my workout and then I'm just going to say workout stack dot uh, screen name is equal to strength component is equal to strength so I'll close tag then if I go to my create workout what I want to do is create a 
another button right here. So I'm just say view. The style is going to be the same. And then in here, I'm going to put a button. Title is equal to strength. Color is equal to purple. The on press is equal to a return statement, which is going to have navigation dot navigate and then the name is going to be strength and then we're going to pass in the parameter just like before so I'll say date is new date and then I just need to do is close that off so now if we run our emulator uh, we should get the strength workout so I'll say react dash native Actually, before I do that, I have to change my directory. So CD my workout app to. Then um, what I'm going to do is do the React Native. So React dash Native run dash Android. So as you can see, this is our app. Um, it initialized and loaded as well. And today we have different one quote from Winston Churchill. So we go to our workout app, which is what we're working on to create workout. Now we have the cardio and the strength. So we can do cardio. This is what we did last time. And as you can see it gives you the user token. Go back. And now we're going to work on our strengths, which now it's just strength.js. So the strength is exactly uh, like the cardio because I wanted to uh, keep things kind of copy and paste and you know use one template for both so for the um, for the strength I'm just going to come to my cardio and copy all of the variables that we had before and then I'm going to come into my strength right here and just paste them but I'm going to change uh, I'm going to get rid of the text in here And I'm going to change the variable name. So instead of cardio, I'm going to uh, I'm pressing Alt and I'm just left clicking. So I'm going to put instead of cardio, I'm press Delete. I'm just put strength, and then in here I'm going to put strength muscle. Or, uh, which actually cardio group yeah I'm just going to call this muscle strength group so just be consistent so strength group set strength group strength muscle set strength muscle card strength duration set strength duration and then I'm just going to press control just put strength instead. So strength duration type, strength resistance type. But instead of going to duration, uh, sorry, resi uh, resistance and distance, what we really want is the um, what we really want is the repetition as well because we want to see how many reps and the reps types they are so instead of distance I'm going to change this to be strength repetition and set strength repetition and then it's going to be strength repetition type set strength repetition type so the resistance is how heavy it is the reps are how often they do it the calories are going to stay the same the heart rate is going to stay the same and then we have the user token so now that we have this taken care of um, what I'm going to do now is just come to my cardio and copy paste because I want to get the user token from the um, database or from the user that's act 
it's currently logged on. So I'm going to get that from my async. So I just copied it from my cardio get the a get async data function. Um, yeah, and then uh, again I'm going to be using effect just like before too. So I just want to call it once to get the async data, and then um, yeah, and then for this next section. I have to create a function in order to um, submit the data into the database. So I'm going to say let's input strength work work out equal arrow function, and then inside of here, I'm just going to copy these uh, error messages and put them in here, but instead of cardio, um, cardio, I'm just going to replace, actually, I'm just going to replace this with uh, strength, and as you remember, we don't have the resistance, what we have is the repetition repetition and I just want to change this which I think we can do yeah get rid of that and put strength duration resistance repetition calories and heart rate and then after this what I want to do is get the generate token function that we had before, and also, um, and also I'm going to get the variable that we used to generate it. But instead of saying main to cardio, I'm going to say main to strength because I want to make a unique identifier for the strength workout as well, so that it helps with the analysis. And now for here, I'm going to do the database insertion, so I'm going to say db.transaction function txn. And then inside of here, I'm going to say console.log transaction. Actually, you know what? I don't need that. Um, so after that, I'm going to say let create SQL statement equal the tilde key because I want to have a multiple line um, entry. So I'm going to say insert into workout underscore strength. Then in workout underscore strength, I want to pass in the workout date strength muscle group strength muscle, strength duration, then I want to pass in strength duration type, the strength resistance type, or strength resistance, and then the strength resistance type the strength repetition and the strength repetition type the strength calories burned the strength heart rate strength heart rate type then the user token, and lastly, main to strength, and I'm going to just get rid of the extra spacing here, and then right here, I'm going to pass in the values, and then I'm going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, just need to make sure because SQL is very finicky and will not give you error messages. If this is not good, it'll just say, it just won't work. So now that I have this taken care of, what I want to do now is do the execute SQL. So say tx and dot execute SQL. Inside of here, I'm just going to pass in the create SQL statement followed by the input variables. So in this case, I'm going to say root dot params dot date. Then I'm going to pass in muscle um, strength group and then strength muscle and then the strength duration uh, no the strength duration and then the strength duration oh string duration type and the strength resistance the strength resistance type then I want to pass in the strength repetition the strength repetition type then I want to pass in the strength calories the strength heart rate the strength heart rate type and then the user token and then main to strength That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14, 14, so everything matches up. So then once this is done, I'm going to put a comma after this last bracket, and then I'm going to have a, um, then I'm going to do T, X, and comma results. That is going to give me a return function. I'll say um, console.log results. And then I'm going to pass in the results.rows affected. And I'm going to say if results.rows affected is greater than zero, so if this is successful, I'm going to console.log the um, strength inserted. Otherwise, I'm going to have a console.log or tree. Yeah, else um, I have a console.log strength. So then after this, um, what I want to do is now do um, another insertion where I'm going to have db.transaction function txn and in here I'm going to insert the data into a second table. So I'll say, let's create SQL statement equal tilde key again, and I'll say insert into main workouts. Yeah. Main workout, workout underscore dates, strength ID, then user token.
I'll put your values one, two, three. Then I'll put txn.execute SQL create SQL statement group dot params dot dates name to strength user token um, yeah, user token then I'm going to say um, txn comma results arrow function to say if results dot rows affected are greater than zero so if it's successful I'm going to have an alert dot alert success and then under here I'll say strength submitted strength submitted successfully then I'll have an open close bracket in here I'm going to have open close braces and say text is equal to OK and on press it's going to be uh, it's going to navigate to navigation dot navigate to uh, did not need to do that to and then the name that I gave um, to the create workout menu is let's work out or actually the workout um, yeah the workout tab is let's work out so I'm going to navigate back there and then after this bracket I'm going to put braces um, cancelable is false and I somehow have an error um, one second yeah cancelable is false Then I'm going to put here else console.log, and then in here I'll say that um, it's not inserted. done I'm just going to put a colon and then another colon right here and that is it for our strength um, function so now we can begin by doing uh, actually before I do that I'm just going to go to my cardio I'm going to copy and paste all the um, styling that we did in the previous video because it's essentially all the same um, it is essentially all the same there's nothing different for the, any of this so uh, now then I'm just going to work on the return statement so first I'm going to have a safe area view 
instead of here I'm going to have a view then this is going to be our main area so we put style is equal to styles dot main area inside of this view I'm going to put a scroll view where the keyboard should persist taps is equal to handled and then the style is equal to styles dot and then says scroll view style um, scroll view style it should be the same name yeah it's just that so then at the top what I'm going to have is a view so this view I'm going to have a button where it's going to be title is equal to back the color is equal to purple and then the on press is equal to this navigation dot go back and you make sure I have a self enclosed tag and then this view is going to be our back button so I'll say style is equal to styles dot back button so if we come here we press back it takes us to our main menu go to strength so that's this so far so now that we have that taken care of um, what we need to do now is go to our strength so for this we're going to have a view and this view is going to have this style is equal to styles dots and it's our view styles and then in here we're going to have text so say select strength group and this is going to be style is equal to styles dot text titles and then we're going to have a view in this view it's going to be our picker view so let's say style is equal to styles dot picker view then this view as the title and everything to say it's a picker with the selected value is equal to muscle or strength group strength muscle uh, strength group uh, hold up. strength group yeah strength group and then we have the style is equal to styles dot um, picker styles which we should have right here so let me just verify that this is yeah it's the same and we're going to have an on value change is equal to this do item value then it's going to put an uh, um, item index and then we have an arrow function actually no we're not going to have an arrow function I did that mistake last time it caused me a big error so I'm going to say set strength group and then I'm going to pass it in the item value and then all we have is the self enclosed tag then we do picker dot item label equal machines value is equal to machines then we're going to have a then I'm going to copy this code two more times so shift alt two more times and then I'm going to press control D and instead of saying machines I'm going to say free weights 
and the last one is going to be other. So if I save this, come back here, we now have our um, strength. So we have machines, free weights, other. And just like earlier, what we need to do is make sure that our core label for the strength group is up here as well. So our strength group, make sure the base value is machines in case the user doesn't change that. So now that we are done with this, um, what we want to do now is go to the next one. So um, make sure I'm in the right view. Yeah, I'm in the right view. Okay. So then the next one is going to be another view. Then this is also going to have a view style. like so. And then we're going to also have a text title. So let's say text. Um, and here I'm going to say select strength muscle. And then this is going to be style is equal to styles dot um, text titles. So then <clears throat> we're gonna have a view so and this view is gonna have a style is equal to style dot picker styles uh, picker view because it's that then I'm going to put the picker here and then it's gonna be the same thing as before so I'm just gonna copy this right here um, let's put a yeah, end picker so then instead of our strength group however it's our strength muscle so I'm going to change that to strength muscle and I'm going to set strength muscle as so and then in here for the muscle I'm going to have a picker dot item where the label is, e label is equal to calves the value is also equal to calves self enclosed one then we do something for the hamstrings, quadriceps, gluteus, maximus, biceps, triceps, forearms, trapezius, and the latimus, latissimus dor dor dorsi. So for the calves, I'm just going to change this to hamstrings. Then this one, I'm going to change to quadriceps. Then for this one, I'm going to change to the gluteus maximus. Uh, make sure the M is capitalized. Then for this one, I'm going to change to the biceps. This one is going to be the triceps. This is the forearms. This is the trapezius. And then this one is the latissimus dorsi. If I come in here, I'm going to create workout strength. Uh, oh, that's right. There we go. I actually put the style, not styles. So that's my mistake. Come here, create workout strength. Now we have our calves, like so, but we need to make sure that our strength muscle has the base value, so in case something doesn't change, we we'll come up to where our strength muscle is, put in the calves, so then if we come down to the next one, like 
so get rid of this extra thing in here have a view and just like before it's going to have the style is equal to styles dot view styles then we're going to have text in this text we're going to say resistance and this style is equal to styles dot text titles and then what we're going to have here is just like in Ricardio for the numeric one um, let me see here aha so just like our numerical one what we're going to do is um, just copy this code like so Well, it's just going to, so you can either copy this code if you want, or you can type it out, um, but yeah, it's just going to be a view and text input, so after this text, I'm just going to do this, copy, paste that in, so then uh, the placeholder for this is going to be resistance, then it's going to be, uh, instead of Cardio calories be strength um, strength resistance and then here it's gonna be set strength resistance Next, what we want to do is the uh, resistance type. So, um, sorry, I'm just thinking. Um, so, before I do the, so this is going to stay. Oh, that's because I didn't input text input. That's my mistake. So up here, what I need to do is import also text input as well. So if I come here, create workout strength. Yeah, now it should work. Press check. Nothing happens there. Cool. So um, yeah. So now that I have my resistance. Um, Instead of having the resistance right here, because I'm trying to think of this logically, they'd have the muscle, they'd have um, the strength, the type of muscle, then it'd be how long did they work out, and then the type of resistance that they did. So um, in here, I'm going to add a view. Um, in here, I'm going to have text style is equal to styles dot text titles. And type in duration. Yeah, duration. Thank you for correcting me. Then I'm going to have um, a uh, view with the style equal to styles dot uh, number style view. And inside my number style view, I'm going to have text input where I'm just going to copy all of this, like so, and just so um, my number style is going to be the same. And here it's going to be my duration, and here is going to be strength duration set strength, uh, duration, duration, set strength, duration, and then um, after this what I'm going to do is put the duration type, so it's going to be a view, style 
is equal to styles dot um, view styles. Then in here I'm going to have text style is equal to styles dot text titles. Then I'm going to have a view style is equal to styles dot picker uh, picker view. And then I'm going to have a picker with the selected value equal to strength uh, duration type. The style is equal to styles dot picker styles. And then the on value change is equal to item value uh, comma item index then it's going to return simply set strength duration type to item value then what we need is a self enclosed tag what we need is just a close tag, my mistake, um, and then in here I'm going to have picker dot item label equal to seconds value is also equal to seconds this is self-enclosed, do it two more times because now I'm going to do it for minutes and then hours. So then we have the resistance and then we can do the resistance type. Uh, but let me make sure this is still... Yeah, right here. I'm missing this thing. So you make sure to put, for my duration, I'm missing the view style. There we go. Much better. Much better. Now for seconds, I am missing my header. So inside above my picker view, I need to put text. Uh, this is going to simply say the um, distance type. And then the style is equal to styles dot text titles. So now everything should be looking better. Strength, strength, duration, resistance, resistance. Just type resistance. So actually, let me take this and I need to put it below my resistance. So, like so. Much better. So I have my Strength, strength, muscle group, duration. Oh, I am missing my duration type. Yeah, so let me go to here, go to my view. Inside of my view, I'm going to put text, duration, type. Then I'm going to put inside of here for my duration type. It's going to be the same thing as before, but um, let me make sure I have my styles in here first. That way things look nice and clean. So then, like before, I'm going to have a um, view for my picker. So put in a view. This is going to be style is equal to styles dot picker view. Yeah, so there's that. So then inside of here, I'm going to have a picker for my duration type, and then I'm going to have selected value 
is equal to the strength duration type. The style is equal to styles dot yeah. Pick your styles. The on value change is equal to and I'm gonna pass in item value comma item index. Then I'm simply going to return set strength duration type to the item value. And then I'm going to close this. Uh, I'm going to close it outside. And I'm going to have a picker dot item. Have label. Yeah, that didn't make any sense. Resistance type. Okay, so my duration type, I'm going to have label is equal to, and here I'm going to put seconds value is equal to seconds. So if I'm close, actually, you know what, I'm just going to copy this because this isn't, this isn't correct. Creation type. Yeah, this is incorrect. I'm just going to cut this, put this right here like so. Okay, so I have my strength, select strength group, select strength muscle, my duration. Duration type, I have my resistance. Now I need to have my resistance type. So for my resistance type, I'm going to copy these picker items. And then inside of my picker, I'm going to have in here pounds, stone. Actually, I'm going to come to my cardio, go to where it had this, just copy this. So I'm going to have my pounds, kilograms, stone, gallons, um, like so. So if I come here, my strength group, the duration, the duration type, seconds, let me make sure they all work. And my pounds, kilograms, stone gallons so then once I'm finished with this I can now that's so weird I don't know why I have that like so okay much better so now that I have that done, um, I can actually come up here, make that look a little bit better. So then, now that I have my uh, duration, oh, but this isn't duration, is it? Okay, one second. Duration, select duration type, set strength duration type. Resistance, strength resistance, strength resistance, resistance type. So set strength resistance type to the resistance type. Okay, one second. I need to make sure I have these values correctly. So strength group, set strength group item value muscle, strength muscle, item value, strength muscle, duration, strength duration, set strength duration, duration type, set duration type, strength type, item value, resistance, 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 and then 
resistance type, item value, item value, resistance type. Okay. Okay. So then now I have my resistance. I'm going to do my repetitions and have view style is equal to style styles dot and then this is view styles and then in here I'm going to put text style is equal to uh, styles dot text titles and then I'm going to put the repetitions and in here I'm going to have the view which is going to be like my um, number style view so I'm just copy this put in here and then I'm just going to have text input like so so in my text input um, that's so weird I don't know why that doesn't work so for my text input I'm going to have this be repetitions have strength repetition uh, strength repetition set strength repetition so let me make sure this looks good repetitions Yep, I need the repetitions. So these are the reps that you do, but um, I'm going to have this set to the um, yeah. So these are the reps that you. So it's 25 reps out of how many sets? So in here I'm gonna have you style is equal to styles dot view styles and here I'm going to have text style is equal to styles dot text titles then I'm going to have uh, again it's going to be a view and then text input so for the view I'm going to have this number style view and for the text input I'm just actually going to copy and paste this code so then um, instead of the repetitions it's going to be actually let me fix this so repetitions reps repetitions sets so strength repetition type set strength repetition type to the strength repetition type so resistance reps sets and then outside of this view right here uh, that's what I did wrong so in here it's going to be repetitions reps is going to be sets then actually we can just say sets here and reps there make sure this is work so the set strength repetition type there and then um, let me make sure that we have the values accounted for, so um, I think we left off with this. Yeah, so we come up here. The strength duration type by default it's seconds, and the resi resistance type by default is pounds. And then the type this is just the sets that's the reps so you don't have to change anything there and I can uh, yeah there we go that looks 
better. So then after the sets, now we can do the calories. So I'll put a view, the same thing as before, with the style is equal to styles dot view styles. Then I'll have a um, text in here and put calories, calories, and style is equal to styles dot text titles. Then in here I'll have a view and it's going to be text input, which I'm just going to copy the style from here and put it into here and then I'm going to have the text input like here you put in like so uh, like so but this is for the calories so I'm going to say strength calories set strength calories to calories and um, that should now give me the calories Instead of sets, it's going to be calories. If I can spell calories right. Calories. Yep, that looks good. So then, after this, probably one is a heart rate. So I'll put a view. And just like before, it's the view style. And then we're going to have text. Here's going to be the heart rate. And this is going to be style is equal to styles dot text titles and then in here we have a view with a text input so I'm just to copy this paste it here and this is going to have a style is equal to styles dot um, number style view So instead of this, it's going to be heart rate. So I'm going to use strength, heart rate, strength, uh, heart rate to heart rate. And then um, heart rate, calories, repetitions. So then what we want is a heart rate type. So then we have a view text is going to be heart rate type. And the view, as before, is going to have view style like so. And the title is going to have the text title like so. Then we're going to have a picker. So I'm going to put a view here, and this going to be a picker view, which um, we have right here. And then we're going to put picker with the selected value equal to strength heart rate type, the style is equal to styles dot picker view picker styles <laughs> picker styles then we're gonna have the on value change is equal to item value comma item index then we're simply going to return one thing and that's gonna be the set strength heart rate type to the item value and then inside of our picker we have a picker dot item label equal to second value is also equal to second then we're just going to um, do this two more times and we're going to do minute and hour. Uh, take the second, come up here to the top where we have the heart rate type. Put in 
and second. Then at the very bottom, after our um, after the, after the last view right here, what I want to do is whoa whoa whoa, come here and put a view style is equal to styles dot back button. And then I want a button title is equal to submit a color is equal to purple and then the on press is set to equal uh, input strength workout so now then if I just refresh this have my workout app, it loads. We have this, go to our workout, create workout, you know, choose a date, July, March 13th, strengths. From here, we do machines, free weights, other, in this case, I do machines, do calves, hamstrings, quadriceps, gluteus maximus, biceps, triceps forearms, trapezius, and latimus dorsi. In this case, I'm going to do my biceps. The duration for 35 minutes. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> Resistance, do 45 pounds. Reps, I did 25 reps. And how many sets? I did four. How many calories did I burn? Uh, let's say 60 calories burned. The heart rate average was 62 beats per second, minute, or hour. 62 beats per minute sound fairly reasonable. So press submit. Set success. Strength submitted successfully. Press OK. Now if I go here. There's no, no, no errors, so everything submitted successfully. And that concludes our strength uh, screen. So now we can do both strength and cardio. So you can see here that was March 13th. So let's say March 14th, I did cardio. In this case, I want to do the fartlek training of the gluteus maximus. Duration was 32. minutes resistance was 20 yeah pounds distance I did it was for two miles calories that I lost uh, 500 seems to be a decent number 72 for my heart rate beats per minute So then if I press submit, car is made successfully, go back to our workout. Now in the next video, what we're going to be doing is working on the uh, workout history. So we can see our workout history, it says to retrieve portion of this, and then we'll do the update and delete. So I hope you guys enjoyed our vid the video, um, but before we quit, obviously we have to do the git, um, we have to update our git commands. So. update the commands. We have to update our information to our git hub account. So then what I'm going to do is just um, go to the git commands. So git add star git commit dash m and here we say added strength workout Then I'm going to have git push dash dash set dash u origin master. So then 
if we go to this link, open it up. Then go to the master branch 28 seconds ago in our source. Home stack, workout stack, strength. You can now see that we had all of this added. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yep, until then, stay safe everyone.